Hello and welcome back to Tingle Winger 5. Today we're going to be taking a look at Glasswire. Now this is firewall software that shows you what is actually happening at an application level. Uh, it's something I think has been missing from most software firewalls up until recently. Now Glasswire shows you what's happening on your actual computer. So it's the application level and how much that application itself is using. And it gives you real time updates of new things coming in. There's a free version available and there is a premium version available. We're going to start by looking at the free version and then we're going to move on to the premium version later in this video. Let's start by downloading Glasswire by just pressing the big button on the page. Uh, Glasswire is still in beta, but it's fine to use. I've had no problems with it stability wise. Uh, you go through the installer, it's bug standard installer, you know what to do. Uh, make sure you read the software agreements. And at this point, it's going to start to install onto the drive you have selected. You can go and show details to see what it's doing, but there's no need to do that. And Glasswire is installed. I recommend you do a restart at this point. It's not absolutely necessary, but I'm going to recommend that you do a restart. And what we're going to do is set it up and leave it running for a little while, just so it gets to know our system. Glasswire is going to run in the background and it's going to see what applications are there. And each new application is going to give this little pop up here saying first network activity for Microsoft Outlook or any other application you have running on Glasswire. So Glasswire has been running a couple of days now and it's generated a lot of traffic. But what I wanted to do is show you exactly what happens. So we're going to go to the Linux Mint page and we're going to download the torrent so we'll be able to download Linux Mint itself for maybe a later video. And we start the download process going on Deluge and in the bottom right corner we got the notification as you can see and now we have Glasswire. It highlights when a new application actually gets introduced. So we can see Deluge is using a lot of bandwidth at the moment and we can see the bandwidth is actually spiking upwards since the program started. And to me that is extremely valuable information. Look at this bandwidth spike since Deluge has been started. But you can see very clearly that Deluge has gone from nothing to using a lot of bandwidth in a very short space of time. Which for Deluge is completely expected. But imagine if you saw this with a program that was malicious. Something that you didn't know was running on your system, but it was using your network traffic. Now most Windows users actually use Windows Defender, which doesn't give anywhere near the insights of what Glasswire is giving me at the moment. It's even showing you down to the protocol used. So we've got Torito Tunneling, Skype Protocol, and the Hypertext Transport Protocol using the most at the top there, as well as HTTPS. Down here we've got BitTorrent, which is obviously what Deluge is doing when it's downloading Linux Mint for me. Deluge is using a lot of bandwidth, got one alert, and it even shows the hosts it's connected to. And this is all in the free version. So what we're going to do at the moment is upgrade to Elite. Uh, this code was provided to me by the Glasswire developers, but we're going to dive into Elite just to show off the features there. What I genuinely like, and I'm not being paid to say this, is all the licenses are a one-time fee. And for me, that's really important. Most software has become a very OPEX sort of model where you keep paying for it year after year after year. But this is a one time purchase currently. So I'm going to activate my elite code and it's going to restart Glasswire. At this point, I'm wondering if I'm going to keep all my history or whether it's going to have to relearn all my apps. But actually, it comes back completely as is, just turns on more features. So Glasswire has now been activated. It's now running elite, looks mostly the same. Uh, application data changed from Outlook when I had to pull my code from it. But otherwise, Glasswire is completely the same and just has more features. All of the history is kept, but it takes a little bit of while to come in. So all of the history is here. We've used a lot of bandwidth on Deluge here. Shows the hosts, some alerts, and some more info. And we can now hide the application on both usage and firewall and on the graph. So we can hide individual applications if you don't want to see that traffic because you know it's fine. Uh, we can see we've got a lot of traffic in, not much going out at the moment. Uh, wait till I start uploading YouTube videos again. And all the hosts we're connected to and even gives us a general idea of the country it's in. As well as the protocol type being used by our application. So we can see other is the most uh, being used here. And we've got Google Chrome and Deluge using a lot of other protocol types of traffic. But as well as the normal HTTPS and HTTP as you go down the list. As well as SSH. Uh, we can now go into settings and we have a mini viewer available to us now. We can unlock the settings here and check out camera and mic monitoring and network device monitoring on my LAN. Uh, you can have it give you a summary of while you're away as well as the expected bandwidth over ridge monitor. So if you have a download cap 
and even if your internet goes down it'll alert you so let's go in and have a look at what's on my local network it gives me the IP address the DNS names uh, if they're displayed and we can see I've got currently six devices on my network and that is about right we've got my router on 1.1 Philips lighting my desktop computer one of my phones is on 1.11 1.15 and 1.19. So actually 1.15, if we switch to DNS in a second, you'll see that is my QNAP NAS from my previous video. And 1.19 is my Linux server in the corner. So what does this show us? Well actually as very detailed logs, we can go through and see which applications are using the microphone. So if something's secretly recording you on your computer, you can be alerted to that. And I bet you're thinking this actually sounds really resource intensive. Actually, Glasswire really isn't. Uh, one thing that surprised me is that iTunes is actually a really big resource hog. I have no idea what it's doing. We're about to drill into it with Glasswire at the top here. And actually, as we drill into the usage, we can find that iTunes is actually not using any network traffic at all. For some reason, it's deciding to thrash my CPU and might use all my RAM. Uh, but I'm not sure 100% what it's actually doing, whether it's archiving and indexing my whole computer uh, is a possibility. One more neat feature of Glasswire is you can monitor multiple computers. So you can see on the right hand side here when Glasswire pops back up, we've got two tabs on the left hand side that's been invisible for the last few clips. And we're about to click on the Glasswire again, we've got the desktop and the laptop. So we can actually manage Glasswire from one PC. As you can see, there is a very slight delay between them. So we can see three spikes on the laptop now and the three spikes are just being generated on the desktop there we have the three spikes so it is slightly behind but it's completely usable completely manageable and that delay really doesn't mean anything it's a couple of seconds if that which is fantastic and the resource doesn't spike is what i'm showing you here so the resources stay exactly the same even if you're sharing out all the data from that computer and because Glasswire is of course a software firewall, what we can do is block individual programs, or in this case, block all the programs all at the same time. And we can watch the download speed in the top right plummet down to zero very slowly, as Deluse has obviously a lot of connections being a torrent program. And if you remember when Windows 10 was released, the big worry is whether it was sending a lot of data to Microsoft. So I'm running Windows 10, and I can see host processes for Windows. And actually it's only uploaded about 12 meg, but it's downloaded about 14 meg. And I mean, at the moment, I think that's kind of fair for an operating system. It's still having to check for an update. It's still having to do lots of things through server host if you know how Windows works. Uh, but what you could do if you wanted to is block it completely. Completely up to you. Glasswire just lets you visualize how much it's doing. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed Glasswire. Uh, it shows me exactly what I want to see. And for a data junkie like myself, this is actually very, very insightful into what my machine is actually doing. Bye.